All right, coach. Day one officially in the books. Practice is over. We've got a lot of time to kind of break everything down, but just initial, um, your initial take on on the way day one went. Good energy, very sloppy. <laughs> it looked like we'd been in, inside for the last three weeks, which we hadn't. I was trying to find an excuse of why we were why we couldn't catch and couldn't throw, but um, I just figured it was a late night out of the first pitch dinner last night. <laughs> we'll cut him a break, but uh, I loved our energy, uh, guys picking each other up. And, and in fact, what was nice is when, when we struggled a little bit playing catch, we, were, we weren't clean with things. Uh, we had our captains and some older guys getting on each other just saying, hey, we need to pick it up a little bit. And I didn't have to really say anything. So it's nice when you can have a team like that that takes care of themselves and they understand what's happening on the field and what's going on and they have an awareness about them. What are your early impressions of this team? And I know you've had an opportunity to see them throughout the off season. We're three weeks just under, I guess it's technically 20 days from your first game against uh, uh, Cal State Northridge. Just your early impressions on on what you think this team is all about right now? Um, confident, hardworking. Um, they're not going to be afraid of anyone, and I'm, I'm honestly I'm excited to to go to battle with them. It's it's going to be fun. Uh, you know, we understand. I liked our team last year too, and we started out ten and eleven. But this team has a lot of a lot of poten a potential, ton of potential. Um, but I just feel like it's a mature lineup. Some unproven guys on the mound. Ryan Brady, who's going to start for us. He's unproven, you know. He's coming from Park City High School, jumping into D1 baseball, but uh, we love his mentality. But they're surrounded by such great guys who are a little bit older, more mature, who are lifting them up, and that's really the culture we've tried to cultivate here. Is just when you get older, it doesn't mean you're better. It just means that you're older. And so you were a freshman or sophomore at one time, and and so bring those guys up to your level as quickly as we can. It's going to help the whole team. So I love the culture of this team. Just Everybody's rooting for one another and 35 guys that want to go to battle. You know, it's interesting. You mentioned you get a lot of new guys, especially in the, uh, um, you know, with the pitchers. Mm -hmm. But your position players, you lose Colton, um, you lose Tanner Chauncey, you lose Bronson. But for the most part, the majority of your position players yeah. come back. That, that's got to feel good to be able to have that to rely on. It does. I, I think we're going to give opposing pitchers fits. Uh, you know, it's going to be, you're not going to be able to go through our lineup very easily. Every inning, they're going to have to work hard to get us out. There's not, I mean, we won't we won't stack two automatic outs in our lineup. We just there's not that many. You know, we don't have that many. And I think the we have ten or eleven or twelve guys that will will battle against any really good Division One pitcher. And so, if we can kind of wear down starting pitching, um, try to chase starting pitching in the fifth or sixth, and and get to guys' pens early, that's a that's one of the things. I we're going to put together quality professional at bats up and down the lineup. I think knock on wood, uh, day by day. On the pitching side, I mean, we have a, a couple, we'll be able to match up four or five left-handers that have, that have experience. Bo Burr, Brett Parkinson, Riley Gates, um, of course with Rogers. Uh, those guys, I mean, Kenny Sines, another left-hander, who will probably start for us early, uh, our transfer from Oklahoma. So we've got really good matchup potential. And, and uh, Walker Sigmund, a freshman from, from Texas, and Drew Zimmerman, a freshman. Those guys sit around 90 miles an hour out of the pen from the right side. So I, I'm really excited about just being able to go out and see how they the, – the nice thing is they're going to compete, and they're not afraid. They're not, ti they're not timid whatsoever. And we know at this level that you cannot compete if you're timid. And so that's a non-factor. They're not, they're not going to do that. So if it's stuff-wise, they'll get better. They'll, they'll become more mature. And so I'm, I'm kind of – a little bit tentative on the pitching side, but uh, excited about the prospects of, of what we might be able to do on the pitching side as well. All right, from a uh, logistical standpoint, what what's the next three weeks look like before the first game? Well, now we're just we're trying to build pitchers' innings, um, not trying to reinvent the wheel and do crazy things. We're just really trying to get live looks. Everything like you were out at practice today, everything we're doing is trying to be game like, uh, stealing bases, getting reads, running bunt defense, first third defense, and as simple as. Bunting a ball where we're supposed to, and I thought our bunters did a great job today. Um, might be with that new bunting field, <laughs> who knows. Uh, but we bunted the ball great. Uh, we ran hard. We just couldn't play catch really well today, which which will come, because I think we can do that. Um, I would be disappointed if this team didn't field 975 throughout the year, uh, especially playing a lot of games on this field. So uh, love love up the middle with Brandon Anderson and, and Schneeman. And just a, just, uh, just a bunch of mature guys that I'm, I can't wait to get going. But it's all about the next three weeks 
getting us game ready, building, building those starters, Kenny Sign, Jordan Wood, Hayden Rogers, and Ryan Brady. That's the four guys who are in the mix right now, building their, their pitch count where they can go out day one and throw 90 to 100 pitches and not really worry about that, getting our hitters live looks. So when they, they go up against Cal State Northridge, it's not the first time they've seen a live, a live pitcher. So that kind of is what our thinking is right now. I'll tell you, the fact that we're talking about a game inside three weeks, that's pretty exciting. I can't wait, and I know you can't either. Thanks for the time, Coach. Thanks, Chuck.